The international raiders are set to unleash on the Sydney Racing Carnival on Saturday with three Japanese horses and one from Hong Kong chasing Group 1 success. Dominant, Toes and Stardom, Real Impact and World Ace are all racing this Saturday. All have opted to use Australian jockeys. Nick Hall very keen about his chances with World Ace in the George Ryder. We just want to do some quiet barrier work with him this morning and um, go through the motions. It's great for our racing and they are a step up. They've uh, you know, brought their top liners out this time, which they haven't been able to do um, because the Spring Carnival clashes with their best racing, so uh, it'll be good to see. Dominant's travelling foreman is George Moore, who was named after his famous grandfather, and he believes the overseas horses will now start to target the Sydney autumn. Hong Kong, with the, the longest distance we got over there is 2400, and he's always done excelled at that level. Um, but, you know, 2000s, I think, is a good start. He hasn't raced in about a month now, so uh, last start was over 1800, and he performed really well over that, sitting more on the speed. Probably going to go more back um, from the gate three. We've got a great, great gate, and uh, hopefully 2,000 metres, he, he might win it first up. Hall didn't know a lot about his overseas horse when he arrived at the quarantine centre, but after a couple of days, he's already warning punters to be wary. Yeah, well, I know them now, and I've warned them, warned them to uh, bet wisely. <laughs> and an old favourite of everyone's is also in Sydney, looking to go one better in the Sydney Cup. Red Cadeau has famously finished second in three Melbourne Cups and he arrived last night, the stable looking to finally crack it for a win in Australia. Red Cadeau, of course he can. Um, there's uh, every possibility, especially if the ground's got a bit of give in it for him, which, uh, which he does appreciate. The trips are probably better than uh, the mile and a quarter that he ran in the Australian Cup. So we're looking forward to it.